channel is based on the next question. Yes, I'm answering a question that is puzzling you very many, uh, many of you or many of you have been asking this question. That's all about how is gratitude calculated in Qatar? Yes, there are different uh, types or different ways of how gratitude is being calculated. But remember, we have the official or the only way that is uh, gazetted all by the ministry or the labor laws in Qatar. But remember, I told you, most of the companies tentatively tend to divert away from what we call the original rules or what you call the rules that govern uh, what you call the calculation of the gratitude. And what I have to let you know, the calculation of the gratitude will, will depend on first of all it will depend on the number of years you've spent with that company then something also will depend on another factor which is what you call the basic or what you call the basic wage uh, uh, you sign in what you call your contract but however right now being that we have the we have the normal basic pay which is for all workers in Qatar, which is 1000 we ha have to look at your joining date then you also have to look at what was your first contract that you signed with that company for example people of you most of you will agree with me for most of you that have spent with in the company for like around five years or six years remember you joined at a period where your your gratitude was at where your basic wage was at 500 then it was after that it was elevated to 750 then later it was elevated to what you call one thousand so what most companies are doing in order to run away or in order to avoid you giving you what we call or paying you according to the normal or the current basic wage which is one thousand they will go back to the normal wage basic wage that you sign with the company when you're joining the company let's say for example for the first two years you you worked with that company and your basic wage was one thousand so it was 500 so meaning that they are going to first calculate those two years of your gratitude basing on the 500 then when the, the second year or what you call the third year if your basic was elevated to 750 they will come to the third year then calculate your basic how much was your how much was your gratitude during that period when you worked under what you call the seven the 750 basic wage are you getting me then they will come to this yeah when the basic wage of 1000 started so they will begin calculating the 1000 from there then probably they will add up the totals or they will add up the figure that will be your end of service bonus for the period uh, you are going to resign from that company however something that i keep on telling people stop having what you call the over anticipation or over anxiety for you you are thinking that i've worked with a company for five years then i have a lot of money or i have a lot of end of service bonus with that company you may be disappointed in one way or the other because you do not know what kind of calculation this company is going to consider or is going to use to make sure that to sign what you call my end of uh, bonus so at the end of it all if you have a higher anticipation you may end up being disappointed in one way or the other but according to the labor laws right now and according to the official gazette all companies are supposed to calculate gratitude uh, using what you call using what you call the basic salary of 1000 but I keep on telling you there are different companies or there are different types of companies that we have we may have those companies that are good uh, that follow the law and we may also have those companies that do not want to follow the law in the disguise of what you call the exploiting the workers in one way or the other so you would have to expect that at the end of it all but however this will depend on which kind of company you are working for and what uh, how many years you've worked with that company hope i've tried to share up something for you and hope i've tried to give you the clear picture of what you expect at the end of it all so when you have a lot of higher expectations in one way or the other you don't get don't get surprised that you are disappointed one way or the other so hope i've given you a clear view a clear picture of what you can do or what you anticipate at the end of it all thank you so much for coming back to this channel it's makes from the next creation by the way if it's your first time to come across of this channel please consider supporting and subscribing to this channel don't forget to click that notification bell you'll always be notified when i upload a new video thank you so much see you again in the next video